my praise at all times, regardless of in and out of season, we give him the praise, the glory, and the honor. But Brother Donald, can you open us in prayer, please? Yes, yes, yes. God bless you, my brother. God bless you. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we give you thanks, we give you praise, we give you glory. Thank you, Lord, for this time that we're able to come together, Lord Jesus, to talk about you, Lord, to communicate one towards another. Lord, you say when they meet often and talk about the Lord, a book of remembrance is written up. Lord, we thank you. Thank you for my brothers. Thank you for young Marcus, Lord, who has a determination and a drive to follow after you. I pray you bless him, keep him, strengthen him, cover him under your blood. Hallelujah. Give him an abundance of grace. Bless Brother Albert as well, Lord. Bless him, strengthen him, cover him under your blood. Hallelujah. Open ways and avenues for him, Lord. In the name of Jesus and his family, bless Brother David, Lord. Cover him under your blood, Lord God. You see, he has a desire to serve you. Hallelujah. And to follow after you, I pray you will bless him. I pray you will anoint him. I pray you will use him. Hallelujah to your praise and to your glory. Lord, take us in charge and lead us and direct us. We give you thanks, we give you praise, and we give you glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. amen. Praise God. The songwriter says, Stand, must trust and obey. Trust and obey. No song that you. There's yep, no yep. other way. You know it, yes. Happy in Jesus. You must trust and obey. Trust and obey. There is no other way to be happy in Jesus. You must trust and obey. Yeah, well, that's what we're speaking about today. Trusting and obeying the King of Kings. Because my brothers... Younger generation, they want answers. I was told this week by um, <laughs> a few young men that they don't see the fruits. The reason why they struggle to come to God is because they don't see the fruits. And we hear um, these things all the time. People look at, at God or, or and they look at people who, who follow Christ rather than look at God himself. I know we've spoken about this same scenario on a few occasions. Having young Marcus on here, I think it's very important that he hears this as well. I'll be sharing the same message with um with young Miles. So what better time than to um be on this platform with Brother Donald and Brother Binti to support me in this uh, message that God is faithful, mm. He is truth, and He's an unfailing God. We may fail Him, but He never fails. And a lot of times it's the it's the lack of discipline, the lack of faith. Faith, faith in ourselves is faith in God because we didn't create ourselves. He created us. So when we have faith in ourselves, faith that we have sufficient, you know, the Bible tells us that he didn't give us any for any lack. We don't lack any good fit with him. And we know that God makes many, many promises. And it's the promises of God that we hope people can see in our lives so that we can shine for God and those souls will be one. Um, in Jeremiah... 17 verse 7 to 8 it says blessed is the man who trusts in the lord and those who hope though those whose hope is the lord for he shall be like a tree planted by the waters which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes but his leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought nor will cease from yielding fruit in proverbs 3 Verse 5 to 6, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Psalm 56, verse 3 says, Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. Proverbs 16, verse 3, Commit your works to the Lord and your thoughts will be established. Isaiah 43 verse 2 says, When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And though the rivers, they shall not overflow you. And sorry, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. And when you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, nor shall the flame scorch you. In Psalms 143 verse 8 it says, 
Cause me to hear your loving kindness in the morning. For in you do I trust. Cause me to know the way in which I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 14. Now this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we ask anything according to his will, he will hear us. That's just a trust. That's just a few scriptures of many talking about trusting in the Lord. Then we see the promises of the Lord, which are also many. Psalms, 4, Psalms 145 verse 9. The Lord is good to all. He has compassion on all he has made. First Chronicles chapter 16 verse 34. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His love endures forever. Psalms 100 verse 5. For the Lord is good and his love endures forever. His faithfulness continues through all generations. James 1 verse 17. Every good and perfect gift is from above. Coming down from the Father of the heavenly lights who does not change like shifting shadows. Second Samuel seven chapter seven verse twenty eight Sovereign Lord, you are God, your covenant is trustworthy, and you have promised these good things to your servant. Finally, Psalms nineteen verse seven the law of the Lord is perfect, refreshing the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy making wise the simple. Just a few promises and a few scriptures based on trust. And I believe it's very, very important that those who we hope to win the souls to God's kingdom, that they understand that God never fails. Never, ever fails. I can look at my own life and if there was any, if there was any lack, I would know that it's things I need to do. Things we need to do more. We spoke about um, I think talents a few weeks ago, that God has given us many talents. Some have more than others, but do we use them all? And in these trying times right now where many friends of mine have lost their jobs and people are struggling financially, people are talking about taking the vaccine if, if need, need be. These are some people who's, who's told me point blank they would never take it. Now their mindset, if they're forced to take it and if it affects their jobs, they would take it. You know, there's a saying that um, that Christianity, with Christianity comes struggle. It's like a hand in glove. And I say, no, it's not. It's not. It's down to us reading the word of God, letting it be like a seed that's planted and following God's instructions for our lives and not limiting ourselves. I think the world can limit us and others can limit you as well. People can speak death over your life. Oh, you can only do this. Oh, you can only do that. Many, many people, many young people have dreams and aspirations. And sometimes it's the adults in our lives, not because they're being bad, but because of their own lack of, of, of faith, that they narrow the thinking of those that would otherwise achieve great things. And achieving great things is not a bad thing for God's kingdom. It's a great thing. As long as we glorify God in it, as long as God gets the glory, then it's a good thing. So... My, 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 my testament today and the message that God has given me to share, I think specifically with someone young like Mark has been on here. Miles has, made it, Miles has told me he can't come on today because um, he's working. So I will, I will arrange with him to speak to him on a one-to-one, -one, but just to let them know that with God, all things are possible. If all things are possible with him. And it's always about putting him first, never allowing ourselves to be, you know, caught up in something separate. You know, many times people come to God, I've seen it before, come to God, and before you know it, the job becomes more important than God. You know, initially, Lord, please, if I can just get that job, that position. And then what happens, the job comes, and slowly but surely, you see less and less of the person. But when they wanted the job, it was different. No different than a marriage. You know, husband and wife are together, things are tough to begin with, they're struggling, now you get promotion. Wife don't see husband no more. Next thing you know, he's caught up. Then before you know it, the marriage is over. You know, and it's amazing how the scripture uses um, marriage between man and woman in regards to in regards to our spiritual walk. You know, we know that he's he's the groom and we're, and we're the bride. You know, this, this the definition 
is the same. Love your wife as Christ loved the church. And just as we drift away in our marriages sometimes, we can drift away from the marriage between ourselves and Christ. And that's why it's so important that we put him first. No job, no material thing, no human being. You know, I know many times I've mentioned it before where the Bible distinctly says that if you love mother or father more than me, you're not worthy of me. So always remembering that God first. And sometimes God will slow us down. We may want something. You may want that promotion, you may want to do that business move, etc. But God knows us more than we know ourselves. He knows with a certain level of success, we'll drift away. And if he sees it in our heart that we, that we are for him, it's just that we're weak in the flesh, then certain things he will, he will withdraw from us. Or we won't get it until the correct season. We read about these things in the scriptures. We have many great prophets in due season, they were able to do great works. So God is faithful. God is true. His mercies endure forever. And he's an unfailing God. It's us that have to do our bit. We mustn't put a limit on God. And God will not put a limit on us. With God, it's, a, it's, a, it's limitless. There is no limits to what God can do. None. There's some, some writer said there's no secret what God mm. can do. Mm. That is the truth. There is no secret. No secret. With God, all things are possible. When David says, yes, though I may walk through the battle of the shadow of death, he was encouraging himself, reminding himself that, yes, I may be going through a tough time. I may be going through murky waters, maybe a dangerous time, a scary time. But thy rod and thy staff comforts me. I know, my God, I know that he will, he will protect me. And we can all be confident in that. That God will be there. It's up to us to do our part. It's the heart that God is going to judge. The heart above everything else. The heart above the deeds. The deeds don't mean anything. If we're not cheerful givers, if we're not giving for the right reasons, if we're not giving in Christ, in the name of Christ, but we're giving in the name of ourselves, then we're giving nothing. And in these trialing times, these are very desperate times, you know, many people are saying, oh, I can't wait to see the back of 2020. And I'm thinking, why are you so excited about 2021? What makes you think it's going to get better? Mm. People are yearning to go back to what they were going back to before. There is no going back. <laughs> There's no going back. Mm. Even when we learn about faith, Paul talks about looking ahead, never, never behind. There's always ahead. Mm. There's no looking back. There's no looking back. There's only today. There's no today. There is no today. There's no yesterday. And tomorrow itself isn't promised. So um, I'm, a, I'm here to, to share that message that God wants to be spoken of. It will be shared with Mars in due time as well. And just to let young Marcus know that we, we are on here, myself, Donald and Binti, and we're saying that we've got all things are possible. There is no lack. Don't look at another person's walk with Christ. Get your own relationship with him. Build your own relationship. Surrender your heart to him. Repent to him. Surrender your heart. And understand that nothing is impossible for them that love the Lord. Nothing is impossible. Sometimes we, 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 we can doubt God. If only we'd look up more often. Look into the sky. Look how beautiful it is. Whether it be at, in the daytime or at night. Or first thing in the morning. Look at the trees and the flowers and the things around around you. It's amazing how we get older. We begin to lose that that that, that excitement for for, for, for for the great, the beautiful things that God has created. We lose it. When we're children, we think, "Oh wow, look at this, look at that." It's no wonder that the Bible says, "Come as a child." Hmm. It's almost like you come as a child. You're a clean slate. There's no misconceptions you know Christ says that you know, I'm, I'm so glad Father that you've hidden these these things from the wise and the prudent but I've revealed them to the babe and the suckling because coming as a child we come as a blank page for God to fill in for him to write his word in our hearts hmm. we don't come with questions 
And lastly, I was saying to um, one of the people that I spoke to, I said to him that when you come to God, rather than come with a thousand questions, come to him because you realize that this life isn't it. That's how he likes you to come best. The Bible says he likes a broken heart, a contrite. He likes you to be broken down so he can rebuild. He understands that this world will eventually break everyone down. Once there's no God in your life, eventually you will become a broken individual. No matter who the person is. But when we come, because we come in with our heart, and we're searching and we're hunger and thirst for him, that living water will be provided. The bread of life will be given. Purpose will be granted. And that's where the joy and the happiness and the separation from this world. So, Lord, I want to give you the thanks, Lord, the praise, the honor. Mm. For giving me this message to share, Lord. I pray that young Marcus specifically will receive it. And in due time, when I speak to your young Miles, he too will receive it. And just to understand the excitement that we have. Myself, Donald and Binti, we have the excitement because of him. What he gives, what he brings. Amen. 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 Over the Lord, over to you. <laughs> Bless you, my brother. Blessings. Brother David, Brother Albert, and oh. Brother Marcus. Blessings, Uncle. Okay, Brother Marcus, before I say anything, let me hear how is your walk with the Lord? How are you stepping on with the Lord? You can tell us shortly well, how you're getting on. It's It's... It's been, especially this week as well, it's been, I think it's been really good. Um, I've been watching a lot of the, um, you know how they've, how they've transferred a lot of the fellowships now onto YouTube? Yeah. And um, I've been watching a lot of that, the um, testimonies, and I feel like, um, for example, I spoke to my dad about a message that I saw, and what it said is... Um, where it said is, don't ask God to bless what you're doing, but do what God is blessing. And this is called a spiritual alignment. And what that message meant to me is that um, you have to align yourself with God. You don't ask God to align himself with you. And once you're doing the things that God, that God blesses, that God wishes for you, then you will, like, that's when, that's when you'll feel the blessing more. Rather than because what I feel like we tend to be, we end up doing sometimes, not on purpose by accident, we ask God to bless us. Um, and and when, when we're doing certain things, like it could be anything that like we ask God, we ask for God's blessing. However, these are these are things that maybe God doesn't doesn't want to doesn't want to actually bless. Mm -hmm. Whereas there's things where God tells you if you do so, He will bless you. It's guaranteed. Yeah. And that's and when you do those things, that's when and um, you you can receive um God's blessing, and that's when you also align yourself with God. So yeah, I would say my walk with God is it's been it's been getting stronger um mm -hmm. day by day, week by week. Out, I would Amen. say. Amen. 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 That's wonderful. That's nice Amen. to hear. Very nice to hear that, Marcus. Um, <clears throat> now this is how a plant grow. You you sow a seed and it gently, 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 gently grows and um, we can see that Marcus is making steps you know I'm a baby don't Definitely. a baby don't born and start to walk at the same time that's right and start to creep and after it start to creep but your grandfather so you know David it start to yes. creep you know Kiana's trying to creep now maybe soon yes. she's start walking so we, we, mm -hmm. you know it's good when you're not staying in one place that's right. You know, you're not laying down and just sitting up, but you start to move and, you know. Uh, that's very good, Marcus. God bless you, my. Just keep going. Keep pressing forward. Just, you know, uh, learning about God is such a deep and such a profound and, should I say, broad thing. Is that mm -hmm. it, it's, it's an eternity to know God. That's right. That's right. It's eternity to know God. People say they know God, they know God. 
it's an eternity to go on God. The deeper you go, the deeper he gets. Mm -hmm. But the main thing is that you have a determination. You want to get into him. You want to get into him, as, as, as David mentioned, about um, obedience and um, trusting and obey. Is it David? I think mm -hmm. he said something yes, like that. Yeah, yeah. Trust and obey. obey, yeah. Yes, yes. So when you trust, when we trust and obey God, then, you know, it, it reflects our trust and obedience is very reflective to God. It mm -hmm. it does something, you know. It it, it sends a feedback to That's God, right. you know, that we are looking to Him. That's what He wants us to do. You, he, God wants us to depend on Him for what? For knowledge, for understanding, for grace, for mercy, for anything that we desire. It's in God, as um, your father mentioned, uh, Marcus. It's in God. Everything that you desire is in God, in the will of God. You know, God wants us to be happy. Right. We're not unhappy because of God. You know, when a tragedy, when we come into a tragedy or something like that, we lost a loved one or something like that, it's not the will of God that we should be unhappy. You know, and you, you check back and you read the story of Job, of how mm -hmm. what, what Job did. Now, the story of Job. Job was, God said, a perfect man. Imagine that God say, Marcus, you're a perfect guy. You're a perfect young man, just the way I want you to. But the devil comes and say, you, are, you, you have done so much for Marcus. You have made him, you, you have given him everything you want, he wants. You have made him very nice and fix him up and make him so well. That's why, that's why. That's why mm -hmm. he fears you. That's why he serves you. So sometimes the devil ch t tests God to put you to a test to see if you're really faithful. And things happen to us. We're not happy with it. But, you know, when we realize who God is, you know, when Job realized who God is, Job said, the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So we have to come to that place when we can say the Lord give it and the Lord take it away. So if we anything and if we, if things is not going the way we want it to do, we still have to give God praise. We still have to give Him thanks. We still have to worship Him. We still have to pray. This is how you know David, um, Albert, and myself. This is why this is why we are we are still lifting Him up. Because we have been through, I know David has been through his test. I'm sure Albert has been through his test. That's serious, percent. serious test. I'm not talking about, I'm talking about serious test. That's right. When you, you feel yeah. tested to the core. Sometimes you feel you're standing alone. Sometimes you look mm -hmm. around and there's no one there. It's just you alone. <laughs> Bitchy love. <laughs> Marcus, yeah. Marcus, we've all been tested, man. We've all been tested. <laughs> David has tested us. The devil has tested us. And God has... No, he can rely on us. He said yes. yes. He allow it. Not that he, not that he wants it to happen, but he allows it to happen. Mm -hmm. So so it is on the pathway of life. It's a pathway that we have to be going straight. It's the, the, the pathway on, as, as uh, David mentioned... We are the bride of Christ. Now, that's very important to remember. We are the bride of Christ. Christianity is a very wide word. The church is where we narrow it down. The church is what God is concerned about now. Because we are in the church age. The church are born again believers. Blood wash born again believers in the true God. And who understand about the birth, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And understand about repentance, baptism, and receiving the Spirit of God. That is the church. So Christianity is a broad, very broad thing. But Jesus, the, the, we are in the church age. And God is concerned about the church. Because the next event is that God is going to come and take the church out of the world before the tribulation oh. starts. So all these things you have to understand, Marcus, and um, knowing that you have to continue trusting in the Lord, praying to God, 
believe in him in all circumstances trust in and obey very important obedience the Bible says obedience is better than sacrifice in other words it doesn't matter what sacrifice you give it cannot cancel obedience That's right. and no matter how great the sacrifice because if you read the story of King Saul when God told him to go and kill the Amalekites because when the children of Israel came out of Egypt the Amalekites came against them and the Amalekites stand against them and they fought the Amalekites for, uh, over, for a long period of time they fought against Israel and God did not forget God don't forget you know God don't forget so, <laughs> so when, <laughs> when Saul when Saul became Marcus, I mean, teaching him Marcus, I think the, the, the other brothers don't know the story. When, when, when Saul became king of Israel, God said to, God said to Saul, this is Marcus, it's very important you understand, we're talking about trust and obeying. God said, God said to Saul, you see those Amalekites over there? Go and slay every one of them. Man, woman, child, animal, everything. Slay them all. That's what God says. Now we're talking about it's very important lesson of obedience. That's what Samuel that's what Samuel that's what Samuel told Saul, the king of Israel. So God said, Go and slay them, everything. And Saul the king went down to the Amalekites and slay them, slay them. And he was he kept back the king of the Amalekite. He kept back some of the, the some of the cows, some of the oxen. He kept them back. And some 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 things that is looking nice. He kept them back. That's what Saul did. And so he did not do what God tell him to do. He disobeyed God. And because he did that, the kingdom of Israel was rent out of his hand. So obedience is very important when it comes to God, Marcus. You know you're a young Christian. Obedience is most important. Obedience. So Saul lost the kingdom. He was no longer a king because God rejected him. God rejected him from being king because he rejected the word of God. So obedience is very important, very, very important. You know, oh. and we have to... Right. And Samuel said to Saul, Samuel um, said to Saul, what, have thou, what, what, has, what hast thou done? Oh. What hast thou done? Oh. Saul now said to Samuel, I've done all that the Lord commanded me. So um, Samuel said to Saul, what mean the bleeding? Because they were killing the ox to make sacrifice of, of, the, of the sheep. They were, he was killing them to make sacrifice. He says, God has no pleasure in sacrifice. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Therefore, because thou hast disobeyed the Lord, the kingdom of Israel oh. shall be taken away from thee. Yeah. So obedience, Marcus. Obedience. You have to, we have to love God. We have to obey Him. We have to trust Him. We have to um, rely on Him for everything. You know? Seek Him. Draw near to Him. Be steadfast, unremovable. And He will bless you abundantly. Sometimes you don't even know the way God has a blessing in store for you. Sometimes, because we think we think very small, believe it or not, we as human beings think very small, but God is a big God. He is big. You just can't put, you can't define His bigness. You can't define His greatness. You can't define what He would do. You know? Sometimes I think about, you know, my present life now and, you know, uh, the Bible says that um, if we trust in the Lord, in Malachi it says, prove me now herewith, prove me. If I will not open you 
the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you do not have room to receive it. And, <laughs> and you know something? Yes. I'm thinking, I know we're all family and family this thing, but I'm not telling you, sometimes when I think about that, when I look at Rose, you know, when I think about Rose and the fact, you know, the way that God has blessed her so, that yes. she's got, I, I'd never see a woman with so much clothes, I'm telling you. And I'm said to her, I said to her sometimes, where, where you get all them clothes from? <laughs> she said, what? She said to me, you don't know the Bible. The Bible says, it shall give you more than you can, you have room enough to receive it. I'm telling you, I'm, I'm, I'm not boasting, but I'm telling mm -hmm. you, I'm yeah. just giving you an illustration that, you know, that God can bless us abundantly above Abundant. we can even imagine. Even think. That's right. And, you know, I, I just love God because of that, because uh -huh. God is so, he's so great, he's so wonderful, uh -huh. he's so powerful, and I know whatever it is that I need. You know, I was, I was thinking of myself how after 20 years of fighting certain struggles with home office issues that God has actually, on my birthday, it was my birthday and the 4th Amen. of March and ev all my, everything came true at the same time, one time, everything, Amen. all the paperwork that I wanted. I said, Amen. my God, what a God. Uh -huh. Wait, you know, and then I said, the Bible says, wait uh -huh. on the Lord. Be yeah, of good courage. Wait on the Lord. Now, that's an important thing, you know, Marcus. Wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. I read, I read Psalms 27 um, last night. But, uh, literally last night. That is good. That's good. When we wait upon the Lord. You know, um, sometimes, I, 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 I don't know, I want to take up too much time. But, you know, there's a time when Daniel prayed to God. And Daniel oh. prayed to God, and God sent the answer hmm. to Daniel. Yeah. But the Bible says the prince, <coughs> prince of Persia, held up the uh. send the prize, send the answer. You pray for something, God mm. send the answer. But the prince uh. of Persia, yeah. which was a, the devil, held mm. yeah, the, the devil. held the answer up. Uh -huh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You see, so that's right. So that's that is another yeah. reason why we need to wait. That's right. <laughs> but we need to uh, wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. So God had to send yeah, His. Yeah, yeah. God had to yeah. send Michael, Michael yeah. the archangel, to go and yeah. pray true, pray true, and this is, and that is written in the book of Daniel. So yeah, yeah. It, when God sent the answer, it will come. That's right. It may be delayed. <laughs> it may be delayed, but it will come. It will come. And that's a very important part that we must trust, obey, and wait upon the Lord. That's right. Amen. But, uh, but Albert, I will leave it over to you now to uh, encourage... No, you finish, finish what you have to say because this is a very, very, very uh, interesting, important... Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's um, uh, what you're saying, especially you went to Job. Yes, is uh, it's, it's amazing because between Job and Daniel, mm -hmm. Daniel 21 days, he have to wait, and that is a problem. Yeah. This is a massive problem. It's, you, you carry on if you no, 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 you carry on if you have to. You carry on, I, I wait, no problem. Yeah. Uh, if you have to finish what you have to carry on, no problem. Yes. No problem. Yes. So, so you it, finish that, what you have to say. It, it, no, no, no worry. Okay, okay. I wait. No problem. Yes. Yeah, so it is a lesson for us. A lesson for us that um, once we're trusting in God, God is the will. I mean, He hears our prayer. There's no. We never, as a child of God, call upon God and the prayer. You see, when we pray, the angels, the Bible says they. Prayer of God goes up to God as a sweet... You know something? It's wonderful to pray. We can pray in any circumstance. We don't have to be um, kneeling down to pray. We can, right. stand up and, we can stand up and pray. We can be walking and praying. 
we can be we can be anywhere, we can be in the public transport and we we don't have to pray loud, we're praying, we're talking to God, communicating with God. Prayer is communicating. So when we're trusting in God, we we are always communicating with him, which is very important. And when we say anything to God, our prayer goes up. Our whatever we ask of God, it goes up to God. And it goes up to God. It goes up to God. Um, if we read the story of Cornelius, Cornelius was a Gentile. He wasn't a Jew. But he prayed to God. The Bible says he prayed to God and he gave alms. He, gave, he was a very charitable man. He was a centurion, a soldier, but he, he was a, you know, he gave gifts. He gave, he gave and he prayed to God. And in due course of time, God says, Cornelius, your prayer. He sent an angel. Now remember, angels are ministers, are messengers. Angels are ministers, messengers. So God sent an angel to Cornelius and that prayer has come up before God. So we know that when we pray, the prayer goes up. It goes up. And once it's going up, it's going to reach God. That's right. Yeah, the Bible says the prayer of the saints goes up before God as a sweet smell and savor. So imagine, imagine when we ask God for something, when we pray for something, that our prayer, whatever we ask for, humbly, as um, we mentioned about being humble and, and before God, ask God humbly, our prayer goes up as a sweet smelling savor. Do you understand? Our prayer means a lot. And God is pleased when it reach him. It says, it says in the book, you know, it goes up as a sweet smelling savor. Imagine that, you know, how sometimes you smell sweet, something sweet. I, it's just, you like it because it's sweet. Whether it might be perfume, maybe it might be food or whatever, but it's sweet. And it's, it, it, it's, it's nice because you like it. Yeah. Whatever, whatever your taste is but it's coming up to your sweet imagine it's coming up to your oh. sweet then you, uh, responsibly respondedly God sent the answer so prayer yeah. is always so essential for us to pray and as I said in any so wherever we are we can be praying we can be walking talking we're talking to God say so, Lord thank you and, and you know another thing I want to tell you Marcus as a young Christian you're still there, right? Marcus. Yes, I'm coming to her. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I wasn't good. I wasn't good. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just making sure you know. I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> that's all right. Don't worry about we've been, me. We've been, we've been gentle with you, Marky. Yeah, we've been gentle. <laughs> No, 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 we're going to be gentle with you. You're, you're a brother, man. You're one of us. You're one of us. You're one of us, Marcus. Yeah, so what, what we have to think about is, um, is be in constant communication with God whenever you can. And I was just going to say about Thanksgiving. Very, very, very good. Very important. You get up in the morning. Thank you, Lord. You wake me up this morning. You said, Lord, thank you. I have two feet. I can walk. I have two hands. I can use them. I have my eyes. I can see. It may, be, it may seem small and it may seem insignificant, but we are on a journey. And we have to have the attitude. And that attitude is also embodied in thanksgiving. Thanksgiving and you know why I think Thanksgiving is important to God God there was 10 lepers now imagine what leprosy how bad leprosy is 10 men were lepers and they were passing they saw Jesus they said Lord they said they all said Lord have mercy have mercy and Jesus said go your way and as they went their way they all recovered immediately from their leprosy. Mm -hmm. How wonderful! Mm. Yeah. But only one of them came back. 
only one out of ten. Hmm. You, you, no, you see, no, no, you, <laughs> gentlemen, <laughs> my brothers, you see how <laughs> you see how we are. I'm grateful. You see, yeah. You see how we, we are. are grateful people. That's right. Yes. Only one out of the ten mm -hmm. returned and said, "Thank you, Lord." Yeah. Only one. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And what happened? Only one. Yeah. Now this is why I think Thanksgiving is important, because God, Jesus, who was God on earth. Ask a question. Were there not ten of you? There was ten of you who were healed. Where is, there a, yeah. where is the nine? That's it. Uh -huh. So, my point there now is that God expects us to give him thanks. And we have to have, we have to adapt an attitude of thanksgiving. Yes. Oh, yes. Big this, time. I have to adapt an attitude of thanksgiving. Yeah. Because uh -huh. Jesus, God noticed. He knows how many he healed. He no, knows he well he knows in the morning how many he wake up. <laughs> yes. And he knows how many said thank you Lord for waking me up. That's right. He knows oh. how many he gave sight to who could see. And he yes. knows how many thank you Lord I have eyes to see I mean not, you don't have to do that in, in, in every way in a literal sense but it's a matter of attitude and that's how that's how I'm just telling you this Marcus because this is how you go you know you plant you, you plant something in the ground you just don't go because you plant it you can't just plant it and leave it sometimes it needs a bit of attention it needs a bit of water if you plant a seed in the ground, it needs a bit of water, it needs a bit of sunlight, it needs a bit of maybe pruning around it. You just, just plant the seed. So this is how we grow. And it's just my encouragement to you, Mark, because I know you want to serve the Lord and we want to see you continue to grow. And, you know, grow till one of these days we won't have to feed, we don't have to give you a bottle of milk, breastfeed our bottle of milk. <laughs> one of these days you'll be eating, you'll be eating, you'll be serving yourself and you'll be eating meat and we're even looking forward for you to be feeding others. Am I right, David? I agree. I, you know, you know what, I, what I would say right now? Don't be surprised if we the next year. Or, or, or so he'll come on here and he'll be doing his own little speak. Well, yeah. Because he's growing, he's growing very fast. He's growing, fast. he's growing. That's what. His hunger and his thirst for, for, for God's knowledge, for God's wisdom is, yeah, it brings me a lot of joy. Trust me. He'll call me sometimes in the morning before he goes to sixth form or before he goes to bed at night. He's consistently wants prayer, always asking questions and coming with his own yeah. scripture readings. Yeah. God is good. I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward for him to go from strength to strength. And oh, he, definitely. He yeah. will. He will. He will. Oh, it's very good, but uh, but uh, but uh, Albert, we want to hear from you now. Let's, yes, brother Vinci. Let's turn over to you now, brother uh, Albert. Come, oh, brother Vinci. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I have some um, some words and some word for my friend, little Mark, young Mark. Uh, uh, Mark, um, I was it. I, I, well, I'll finish my wedding, then I'll talk to you a little more. So, um, um, sorry, about, sorry about last week, but God is good. Amen. Whatever the enemy try to do with me, he will never be succeed. That's Amen. right. Thanks, thanks, thanks uh, Donald, to remind me. This is one of my key men in the Bible as well. There's there's a few of them, my key men. Glory but to he's God. There is one. Job. Glory to God, yes. Job. Yes. The, 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 what you say about Job, God, God say he's the righteous man. That's right. Mm -hmm. No righteous man like this man. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, this man. <laughs> uh, well, anyway, I, I, I'm glad. You, I'm glad you bring that up because the scripture which I have, and I think Job one, one of them, one of these men. There's a, there's, there's a group of them. These men in the Bible. Probably later, if I have time, I, 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 I will mention them. Mm -hmm. But. Um, this is um, 
I'll go to Luke six, Luke sixteen, uh, Luke sixteen mm. verse, um, two verses, um, uh, sixteen, yeah, and seventeen. Until sixteen first, six until John the Baptist, the law of Moses and the message of the prophet were your guides, but now the good news of the kingdom of God is preached and everyone is to guide but now the good news of, of the kingdom of god is preached to everyone and to to get in to get in sorry i repeat myself um, I should not repeat myself, but I repeat myself. Is that Luke to 16? And that means Jesus is saying, he's saying, no, to get in then 17, sorry, 17. But that does mean that the law has lost its force. It is for heaven and earth to disappear and then for the small point of God law to be overturned. What what scripture is that? Think, um, can you repeat that scripture uh, for me? Um, but, uh, uh, 16, Luke 16 uh, of uh, 16 verse 16 17 two verses what 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 bible are you using um what interpretation it's not my king james version is it it's not no, my, my one is a, my one is a mp5 bible mp5 wow the, the reading is quite different yeah massive difference yeah, difference yeah 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 it's different that's why that's why I, I i just got a new one but i have to go and market because it is 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 a different interpret you see that's 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 a problem with um with the uh, english translation bible you know um I, i'm not i'm not surprised you asked me that question because i, I know myself because it is is your bible what you reading yours then reading yes. yours it says in verse 16 it says the law and the, the law and the prophets were until john since that time, the kingdom of God Thank is preached, George. and every man puts it in it. Um, the way you were reading, I couldn't really understand mm -hmm. what it, it, it. I couldn't really interpret it. I don't know if David understood it when you read it from your version of the Bible. But I mean, this is more clear. Yeah, I, 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 yeah. I do prefer. I do prefer the King James. Mm -hmm. So, so now, so now, you see, for me for for you you said you said that for me start to end till john the law so and the how prophets. did your one start it says the law and the prophet were until john the law. yeah the law and the prophet you see but for me he said until john the baptist the law of moses you see the law of moses and the message of the prophet mm. you see another word is Jesus is saying that, um, that from 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 the prophet until John come. So when John came, and this is where the this message, the the, the gospel start, the the another word, the message of the kingdom start, mm -hmm. which means John started, but the prophet didn't didn't preach about it. From then on. From the prophet time until John come, that's where it starts, and then Jesus continue with it. So because my translation and your translation is two different things, you see, I start my one is starting until John, but yeah, your yeah. one is still law. Yeah, is that right? 
Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah but it, 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 it probably would be interpreted in a different way by the way it's read. It probably have a different. It sounds like a different interpretation from yeah, the way, yeah, from yeah, your yeah. your Bible. I just like my King James version because I find it more easy to understand. All right, you well, yeah, yeah, you, you are in King James, are you? Yeah, I'm King James. Yeah. But did you, did you get the seventeen? Yes, yeah, seven, seven says it's easier for heaven and earth to pa pass away. They say that it's easier for heaven and earth to pass than that one uh, jot and title of my, the law is fulfilled. Yeah. Okay. So now, but my 117 says, but that does mean the law has lost its force. The law has for, lost its force, which means Jesus is explaining between the law to up to now where John starts, which means this gospel, it began now from, 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 from John, and now he's Jesus saying, I'm carrying on this gospel, this message, the gospel. Yeah. So all the word is, just, all is all to do with the kingdom. So because because I'm so used with this Bible, your one, which I understand, it, 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 the word is is, is, is different. Is, is, you mentioned different, different, but but is 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 one message. It's all about the kingdom between the law and the kingdom. This is what Jesus is is saying. The law in the kingdom. So now, is okay. I'm I'm going back to look look for, which is um. Probably that make, make make more clear to you where Jesus said Luke Luke chapter four verse 40, 43. Yeah? yeah the, um Luke 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 chapter four verse 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 forty three. Luke chapter four verse verse forty three. Mm. Okay. Uh, well it, it look like I've been I've been um bring uh, confusion, eh? No, um, no, 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 okay, all right, all okay. it is, just, it's obviously the interpretation is different, Inter interpretation. same meaning, same meaning, just it, interpreted different, because I don't have, I, I don't have, uh, 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 King James, yeah, uh, I don't have King James, maybe I have to look forward, yeah. okay, look, 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 chapter four, you see, um, Jesus, Jesus explaining, um, about the kingdom, he said, but, he replied, but he replied, I must preach the good news of the kingdom of God in order towns to because that is why I was sent. And this thing here, even every time I'm maxing this word is for a long time I've been sitting down with these those two scriptures Luke 16 and that and I'm asking why 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 this particular scripture Jesus said I was sent to preach this gospel to other to other towns anywhere anywhere he preached he preached this gospel but because that is why I was sent but my growing time when I grow, uh, I mean, when I got saved, say, where were you talking? To? And 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 I always been told, Jesus came to the cross. Now, I'm not saying the cross is not important, but Jesus, why? He mentioned I was sent mm -hmm. because I was sent. So, why is this? mention i was sent for that reason so nothing else mentioned jesus mentioned that reason from john the baptist the kingdom the kingdom why so and i believe there's a challenge i'm on from not just the top from the top bottom there's a big challenge why jesus mentioned i was sent for that particular that particular message that particular and I believe, and I believe why I, I begin to understand that message. Okay, yes, by the I'm not saying to you, I'm better than you are. I'm, I'm a perfect, but what I'm saying to you is I understand that from 
from a scripture where David briefly mentioned early on. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is um, Matthew. Uh, Donald, did you understand that one, or you didn't understand, or you want to read your 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 oh. um, what do you call? Oh, you the mean King the James King James Version? The the King, read, but read it. Yeah, the King James Version said the law and the prophets were until John. Since then the kingdom of God was preached and every man presseth into it. So um, Jesus came because he didn't he, he came to fulfill what, what, what chapter are you reading? You're no, reading 16, sixteen sixteen. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 43. Oh. Isn't it 43? 43, chapter 4. 43, 4. Yeah, Luke 4, Luke 4. Luke 4. Um, verse 43. Okay, well, it says, um, and he said unto him, I must preach the kingdom of God unto uh -huh. other cities also, for therefore I, for therefore am I sent. So, he might have been in, I'm not sure which city he was preaching at this time, whether it was, um, he was preaching in the synagogue. But you know, Jesus, this, Jesus did not travel like Paul, Peter, and all the rest. Jesus w w was mainly one place yeah, all the I time. Think it says he came to Galilee, kept to Capernaum, oh, 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 the city oh, 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 of when, Galilee. When so he was in oh, Galilee, and he said he had uh -huh. to preach. So he's from Galilee, he was speaking, and he said he had to preach in other city also. So maybe other oh. city. Mm. So I imagine he's talking about other cities in the Jew in Israel, because I um, remember mm. Galilee was just one city. There was other cities. So maybe he had to mm. go to all the tribes of Israel in various cities. So that sort of maybe a bit straightforward. Um, if he. I, I also I also felt it meant also, if if you remember during those times, a lot of times they, especially the Pharisees, they felt the scriptures was only. For certain section of people, of yeah. society, and I feel Christ set the example by, by spreading the gospel, even sending eventually his disciples to spread the good news everywhere, mm -hmm. which is what we're called to do. Mm -hmm. So, I, to, from, from my understanding, is Christ came onto this onto this earth, and he set an example for us to follow in every single area. There's nothing, there's no excuses for us to fail him. That's so right. There, is, there you are. Every situation he's been through. There you are. Before we, before we did. So That's right. There you are. That's right. But I believe from that time of Christ, yeah, mm -hmm. from uh, uh, even even the prophet, I believe the answer. This this gospel, what Christ preached about it, this 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 particular to what I, what I was I was reading, although is a different different interpretation. But to me, this is what made me understand clearly about Christ. This scripture here, Matthew 10, David, David mentioned just earlier on briefly, Matthew 10, yeah? Um, if you want to go to, uh, to King's James after, you can do so, but uh, it's a few verses. I think it's about uh, four, four verses. So Matthew 10, Jesus said, do not imagine that I came to bring peace mm -hmm. on the earth. I came not to bring peace, but a sword. Sword, yeah? yeah? I have come to set a man against his father, a daughter against her mother, and her, a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. Mm -hmm. your, your enemies will, bring, will be right in your own household That's right yeah yeah if you love your mother your father more than you love me mm -hmm. so <laughs> if you love your mother your father more than me than jesus you more love your mother father, more than me you are not worthy of being mine or if you love your son and daughter more than me, mm. you are not worthy of being mine. Yeah. So now, for me, even as you start with Job, even David, mm. King David, and all these guys, for me, 
when I look at King David, Moses, Joseph, Daniel, the three rules boy, Job, I, I think this guy had that character in that book, even though Jesus was not there that time. Mm -hmm. I, that, I, can, I can be wrong, but I believe this guy will practice that kind of way with God. Acknowledge and wait. Everything God tell them to do, do it. Like that like Donald say about 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 King Saul. Mm -hmm. So some song too. Yeah? So therefore, it's for me to understand Jesus' teaching. I believe any believers, even anyone, even us. And that's why I believe little Mark have to be take his time be patient because this is this is a long journey I, 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 I was glad that uh, Donald mentioned be tested you not tested yet mm -hmm. but you will the, the the more you go deeper in the world you closer the more you understand this is where your test will, will be yeah now will be up to you you all we can do encourage you pray with you but the, 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 the thing is everything will be in your hand because you the one even you go to your dad you don't want to know you don't want to have to find god mm -hmm. for yourself mm -hmm. the platform yes. which is there what we're doing set a platform foundation is there which is good your your encourage the way you encourage yourself which is which is very which is that's what for me, that's what I, I found more excited. Mm -hmm. Encourage yourself. Even even you there all the time, but there's something inside of you pushing yourself. And this is where now oh, you're going to hook up with the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. 24 hours. You understand? 24 hours. And then you cannot, even you pray. Prayer is a relationship, but still, without his word, you can't do nothing. Without what what we are here, three of us, Donald and David, if we didn't have the word of God, we'd never be here to talk to to talk ourselves, to explain, or whatever whatever God gave David a word, and whatever he gave Donald, or whatever he gave me, and I said. For me, the bottom line, as especially Donald, you mentioned about church. For me, I still believe the old church still well ahead than this new church. Hundred mm percent. -hmm. I'm telling you, there mm -hmm. were men like us. Look, I'm going to give. I have a a one scripture which before Mark goes, I'm going to give it to me. But I have two scriptures. Not long, I'm going to give it to Mark, and this is a highlight as well, for me, particular, for anyone. This scripture, Mark, is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14. Um, you want me to read that now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, listen, me, personally, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to tell your dad what to do or to do now. Me, personally, I don't like you to just come, I share, no, no, I want you to get involved in the world. Yeah. This world is going. This world is going to help you change you. He, he knows that though. He's been told. Yeah. I, I told him beforehand. Do not be afraid. Even on Saturday. Yeah, yeah. That all the young ones, it. all the young ones that come on, they're told, feel free, express yourself. You know what I mean? Say what comes to you. Want to ask question? You want to read the scripture? Whatever you want to do, participate. I give them free will. But I want him to do it of his own free will because mm -hmm. I learned mm -hmm. in the past. You know, when you when you put pressure, it's not coming from the heart. Yeah. And I want him to receive from the heart. So he knows, yeah, he's he's free to speak. All of us on here, this is this is God's business. It doesn't belong yeah. to anybody but, but Jesus. <laughs> That's right. Okay. okay. He knows. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Hebrews chapter fourteen. Now in chapter chapter twelve, verse fourteen. Sorry, chapter twelve, verse fourteen. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, go ahead. Pursue peace with all people and holiness 
without which no one will see the Lord. You see, that is that is a biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about me particular believers, or or, or, or are you talking pastors, bishop, and all of them? And I'm telling you, he said, without holiness, you shall no one shall see the Lord. Mm -hmm. How? How this holiness? How? What it means by holiness? What is holiness? Mm -hmm. uh, holiness. The meaning is pure, and also is a motive. But at the same time, holiness. There's no bad. There's no evil. That's what I'm saying to you. I'm giving you that scripture. Maybe one day you can meditate on there and you can see God will reveal to you. There's no bad. Another word is if you're going to be in Christ, you have to be holy. There's a lot of things going to come in your life. I'm telling you, this holiness is going to have to separate you from everything. And this is why I'm telling you there are big men that you see them fail because they don't. They don't involve in that. They don't involve with the Lord and the Holy. And this is like brothers and sisters. And, and it doesn't mean holy. I'm not telling you like you see these people walk on the street, cover their face, they say they're holy, holy. That is not, uh, that's not, uh, that, that does not mean holiness. Holiness, you have to separate yourself. Be pure. Pure. And walk. And now, that's what Donald Trump was saying before. You have to obey everything. Wrong, right, you right, you wrong. You have to obey everything. Until you're able to do that. If you don't able to do that, you'll be in trouble. Even me, me, I'll be in trouble. Deep trouble separate and this is what Daniel did this, this is what a man like Joseph Job Job his wife tell him his only friend laugh at him curse God die Job said no Job rebuked his wife said no I curse God Satan bombarded him he said no that's why I love this man he said no so holiness is the key as well if you have to obey God you got to be practice holiness this is this is something very i'm telling you that there's so many things will come to use when satan bombard you there's so many things provoke you there's so many temptation provoke you you will, you will see and holiness my friend and i'm telling you the truth without holiness like you read nobody will see god why why? What, 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 what is it? What is it that you, if you make a mistake or whatever, but you say without holiness, nobody should be Lord. You with me? Yes, uncle. You with me? But okay. I'm, I'm going to give you another scripture for you, your journey. I know when you'll be tested, that scripture will help you a lot. This is it book Ark, chapter 3 sorry because I wasn't here last week but I was prepared up for you so um, is verse 2 to 4 verse 2 to 4 Acts chapter 3 verse from verse 2 to 4 then I've done Amen. so Mm -mm. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm just getting up. Oh. Oh, you're not there yet? I'm there now. Okay, all right. And a certain man, lame, uh -huh. from his mother's womb, was uh -huh. carried. 
Ooh. Him they lay daily at the gate of the temple, which is Ooh. called beautiful. Ooh. Ooh. To ask alms from those who enter the temple. Seeing Peter and John Ooh. about to go into the temple, ask for alms. And fixing his eyes onto him with John, Peter said, Look at us. Amen. Amen. So now, did you uh, did you read that part where Peter says silver and gold I don't have it? No, don't you say. So, so sorry, I, I I'll make you stop. Look, he should continue. Uh, it, huh? He should continue. Oh, yeah, should yeah, yeah, yeah. Best, go, 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 go further down. Sorry, sorry, I'll make that mistake. Sorry. All right. Two, two more verse. So he gave them his attention, expecting Ooh. to receive something from them. Ooh. Ooh. Then Peter said, silver and Ooh. gold Ooh. I do not have, but what I do have I give you. Ooh. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Amen. Amen. Mm. You, you see you see my reason why i say this guy the old church is different look at look at that is a simple statement what, what, what peter peter and john they they are going to the temple or from the temple and this man come and beg them for money but look at look at the character of peter now <laughs> that's the same man who was before actually deny Christ. Christ have to rebuke him. No Christ, no Satan get into him. Have to rebuke him. You know the story. We, mm. I don't have to waste time on that. So what I'm saying to you, look at Peter now. The man asked him for coin. They said, silver and gold I don't have. But did Peter buy meat? <laughs> did, is that the same man? Jesus said, go in the fish mouth, get them money to pay the tax. Was it him? So how come now the man says silver and gold are not happy? What I've got, what I've got, Christ, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And what is that tell us? What is that tell us? That's mean when we say anything to anyone, and when we is not oh yeah if he's hungry yeah you give him food back why crash is more important and how I, I will say this peter was tapping in the same scripture which i read before and i tell you this scripture is until now from 2008 until now i'm talking about so many so guys that i'm telling you they've been saved for 30 40 years every time i've been to a group Actually, David, I've been to a group of, of, of pastors where your dad goes the, uh, before your dad, your dad, pastors. A group of them, 25, 24. W one time I mentioned, he wasn't there that time. One time I mentioned yes. that scripture. If they could kill me, they would kill me. Hmm. I'm telling you this scripture, Matthew 10. Hmm. And I'm saying to you, Peter and John, this guy, they hook from there. That's a foundation. They love him. For me, if you don't have that love, if your priority, I don't care how many children you have, how many, God, I don't care whatever your position is. If you know your foundation, you don't start from there. I don't think will be good enough. Anyway, Amen. I think Thank I see what I said. You know, because Amen. because the time are very limited. You know, the time are very limited. So, um, um, but I could say more, but I leave it. Let's start, <laughs> yeah. start doing another one. I think. <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> we, we, we will do more than one in a week anyway, because I have to also add some of these younger guys as well on here as well, because they need to hear. But in yeah, so I'm working on it. So it's a case of getting everyone together at the right time. But thank you, Brother Binti. Just just to add as well, um, from what, what Binti was saying, what Uncle Binti was saying, 
um, monkey is a scripture the Bible tells us Christ says if anyone wants to save their life they will lose it <laughs> whoever's willing to lose their life for his name's sake yeah. their reward would be great that's, that's the level of love that yes. you know what I mean you know, the, the, because when we come to him even what you said bit in regards to Peter you've, you've seen the journey that Peter has been on and you see the yeah. transformation of Peter from the yeah. guy who, who doubted Christ who yes. was tired of hearing about prophets so now yeah. you've seen you know what I mean the goodness of the Lord what did Christ say this is this is this is the man who will build his church it will be his rock so you see the transformation and that's what happens when we come to God Marky when you come to God and you are hungry and thirsty and you surrender oh. your heart to him and you repent and you surrender your heart your oh. mind changes Paul said the renewing of your mind your mind has changed itself things that you wanted before your desires have changed now Paul also says that behold old things have passed away behold old things have been made new so these are the things that happen with desire changes and you, know, you become more confident and bold I'm very confident to say how much I love Christ how great he is how wonderful he is what he can do because I've seen it for myself I've seen it you know mm. Paul said if you're going to boast in anything boast in things concerning God you know <laughs> and what Binti was saying in regards to feeding you know, I could feed someone in the name of David Foster and they can keep needing to be fed all the time but if I feed them with the word of God then it's, then exactly. it's not food anymore exactly yeah, that will be forever and it comes to the you. Now, what is man you know what I mean we're, we are, we're limited and the, when you rely on another human being the reality is that human beings die not only do they fail you sometimes but they also die you can't rely on another human being wisdom tells you to, that, to lean upon the rock which is the word of God you know he is your rock he's your everything so I was saying in one of the um, family fellowships, I said that we have to be careful how we love our wives and how the wives love their husbands. So of course you can love, you can have, you know, undying love. But the reality is, you have to <laughs> measure the love that you have for your partner into the love that you have for God. You know, as the scripture says, if you love mother and father of me, you're not worthy of me. Mm-hmm. And there's, yes. there's wisdom in that. Because yes. ultimately you're going to say goodbye to one another one day anyway. And then what happens? You know, God, God's word needs to be in us. We who are sharing the word of God, we have to understand that there will be trials. And when those trials, people will be looking at you saying, hold on a minute, this is the same man of God that was so strong now. The wife is no longer here. He's completely gone. I can't rely on that God anymore. You know, but God knew he could trust Job. God knew. Yes. My mm-hmm. faithful servant, he described him, my faithful servant Job. He knew that no matter what, came against yes. when Joel's wife says why just curse God and die don't no. slay me yet will I praise mm-hmm. now Job made that decision God knows who he can trust God I'm knows who he can you. trust and he chooses very carefully who he allows to go through certain trials I'm telling you not any and any person that goes through trials and there is no prophet in the Bible that would have been in the book of life if they hadn't gone through a trial they wouldn't be mentioned but in reality the trial is an honor it's a statement from god to you that i trust you no, i will never give you more than you can bear so trials will come up here as uh, brother donald and brother binti said you no know, uncle binti and uncle donald they said to you mm. trials will come it's a must and when those trials come they're not there to destroy you they're to make you stronger exactly you know, yeah. to make you know what god can do yeah. there's a song where i said if i didn't have a problem I wouldn't know that God could solve them. I wouldn't know what faith in God can do. Mm. For it all, you'd learn to trust in Jesus. So you have to go through those trials. And when the trials come, you know, you must be ready. The Bible says that to put on the whole armor of Christ. So when those fiery darts come, you can stand. So when, when the trials come, don't begin to doubt God and think, oh, look, he's failed me. And in this early stage of your walk, in this early stage of you trying to get to know the King of Kings, the enemy will come. And he will come more to tempt you, to bring you back to the world, to entice you and to make the world look better and more attractive and easier. And going on to what Binti said about, you know, the old, <laughs> as I say, give me that old time religion. What I like about the days of old and the preaching of holiness, it meant that there were sacrifices that had to be made. I think what this, genera- what this generation wants, they want it too easy. They want to come into the church physically, physically dressed as they as, as they want to, 
and they also come in there with, with, with a negative spirit as well. You know, I want to behave how I want to. They don't behave in a way to reverence God, to walk into that church building and feel like the Lord is here. Let me act accordingly. I've always said, I've said this before, I've said before publicly, that many would go to Buckingham Palace with more humility and more mm -hmm. being more humble. Thank you. Thank and with, you. In, on their best behavior than when Thank they walk into the church of God, which is I find amazing. Mm. You know, but Christ said it. Christ says it. If you love me, you'd obey all my commandments. Exactly. And my sheep know their master's voice. So the trees known by the fruit. We know the people that truly believe because they will act accordingly. You will see it on a regular basis. You know, if they're if it's if it's not real, eventually it will be revealed. Whatever is hidden, the Bible tells will be revealed. Whatever is hidden in the dark will be revealed in the light. So. It, it is well. It is well. My mm -hmm. brothers, I thank you both. And, um, but I've been to you on a closet in prayer, please. Um, sure. Yeah, we will definitely speak again. We'll speak together, all three, three of us, and we'll yeah. arrange see what else we can do. Because at the end of the day, we have to, we have to kind of adapt a little bit for the, 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 the fresh. You, you know, you, you, <laughs> and then when we, when we come together, we can be our, you know. You, you know yeah. why? Last time, no, I wasn't yeah. here last week. La last time we have some some serious debate of scriptures yeah we have to close yeah we do we do yeah, yeah. yeah. so what i'm saying to you is just remember when we were in the world mm -hmm. we used to go out all of us mm -hmm. yeah we go out our, going out that time we we go out from like midnight or one o'clock until five o'clock mm -hmm. is that right yes yes, yes. Uh, okay yeah no but when it's us free we will do that. We can go as long as everyone's timetable allows. When I say timetable, I don't mean putting anything first. God's business is always first. But because we're not in each other's been to you know already. When you used to come to my home or I was with you, we would talk. If you and Donald was in my home right now, we can talk till the early hours. As long as we're not then it work in the morning. You know, we can talk to the early hours. That's fine. But, but this will, time, yeah. this time when we have to curtail. Yeah, we will are we rearrange another day, an extend another time day we and we can curtail. We can do the um, you know, the more the road. Oh, and the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, I didn't see you this, spend a bit time like you know, Mali to, to break it down. The, you move quick, 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 quick. The, so, oh, 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 myself. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I was aware of, I was aware of time. I knew that we were going to be shutting down about eight thirty. Well, the, so, the, the thing, the thing, the thing is, Mali spend a bit time explaining. You understand? The, yeah, yeah, the yeah. Thing is, the thing is as well, um, but uh, but uh, Albert, you, you don't want. To have indigestion, you have to spoon <laughs> it. <laughs> if you eat huh? normal food, you have to. You can only take a plate at a time. You understand me? You can't eat two <laughs> plates of food at the same time. You have to eat one plate, and, well, and then you have to give the food at like a time to digest. Because if you eat too much, man, it, you know what I mean. So David is right. We have to kind of um, draw a line there somewhere. At least give a chance for the food to digest. Um, yeah, you know, I mean, so, so we'll, we'll come together, we'll arrange another day as well in the week that we can do, and then we'll, you know, be more open. But we, we, we've also got young Marky on here, and hopefully we'll have young Marty. Yeah. The brother Binti, my brother. Okay, okay, I, 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 okay, okay. Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we give you praise, we give you honor, we magnify you, Lord. We thank you for today, we thank you for the word, each one of us, for the blessing, for, for the donor. Will it be sharing a little mark, Lord? And I pray for him, Lord, that you pour your spirit in him day and night, Lord. You guide him, protect him, cover him under your blood. His sister, his mom, and ourselves, our family, Donald, his wife, his children, grandchildren, D, his, his, his children, his wife, cover us under your blood. Myself, my children, Command them under your blood. No weapon for my danger shall prosper. Father Lord, we thank you for today. We give you praise. We give you honor. Without you, we can't do nothing. We're here to depend on you. And also we depend on you to speak the truth. We pray, oh God, you give us that boldness. Increase our faith and confidence that we'll always stand for the truth. No matter what, no matter what, whatever happened, doesn't matter. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. 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 God be with you all.